In this lesson we're going to look at a very simple C++ program. We see we have a single function called main. Returns an integer, takes no arguments, the arguments would appear between the parentheses, and the statements of the function would appear in the block of code that exists between the curly braces. We have a single statement called return. It returns an integer that has the value of 0 and all statements will be terminated with a semicolon. Now in order to get this application to run we have to first compile it and then link it with the startup code and any libraries that would be needed to produce an executable file. And to do that on this system I'm going to go to the command prompt and here I'm going to do a directory command just to show you what files we have in the current directory. The one we're interested in is t.cpp. That's the one we're going to compile into an executable and run. To compile it I'm going to use the Microsoft compile and link utility. It's actually .exe but you don't need the exe that's known by default. And I'm going to pass to the compiler and linker the file t.cpp. And its output produces a t.exe and a t.obj. So if you do a directory now, you'll see that they do exist. The object file, which are the machine code instructions for the um, uh, t.cpp has been linked with the startup code and any libraries needed to run it and what they produce is a t.exe and so when we run that it appears to do nothing but it's actually returning that value 0 to the system that call it in this case this command prompt which is part of the operating system so to actually get a visual indication of that value that's being returned, we'll need some kind of application to help us. So what I've created is a batch file called r.bat, which is just a series of commands to the command prompt. So here it is, r.bat, and the first command I'm just telling it to turn off the automatic echo so I don't get too much clutter on the screen. Then the call t.exe and then echo exit code is which is just text and then this error level value what we got back from t.exe so when I type in r.bat or just r is fine it will run this batch file and give us a visual indication of the error level that came back from t.exe so let's go back to the command prompt, run R, and we see exit code is 0. Now we can get back, by the way, any application that you run when it returns a value, in this case 0, that means 0 errors. So if it returns some number, that number is associated with an error number. So your application might do a whole bunch of different things and then return an error code to the system that called it to let it know what the status was. So let's change this error code since integers are both positive and negative. I'll go ahead and put a negative 500 in here. Kind of run it again or compile it again and then run it and we see the exit code is now 500. Now by the way having to type this in every time uh, is going to get awkward when you're dealing with more and more complicated applications. So I've created a thing called a make file. Here we have a reference to t.exe and t.cpp and 
when we from the command prompt type in make it's going to look at this make file it's saying it's up to date right now and it's going to compare the t.exe with the t.cpp and if they're out of sync if t.exe is uh, was created at an earlier time than t.cpp then it's going to run the command below it and in this command below we have a macro called cln up here we've defined the macro we're saying when you see this macro named cln we want you to run this command cl and i've added a slash no logo which basically means you don't i don't want them to um, display the copyright uh, information every time we run cl and we're also passing in to cl t.cpp which is the source file that we want to compile and link now so I don't have to type in make all the time I've created a batch file called m which actually calls make or in this case in make which is Microsoft's version of the make utility so if we go back well first let's make a change so it will actually run the make let's change this back to uh, let's make it 12 going back to the command prompt this type I type in M it runs the in make utility compiles our program and links it and creates an executable t.exe and if I do a dir you notice that the timestamp on this one was 924 and we see now on t.exe 929 it has the same timestamp as our t.cpp file the object code was produced as well all right so now we have it let's run it and we see the exit code returned was 12. so that's it for this lesson we'll do something a little more fun next time